Today I'm going to be making a super fast and super easy mini birthday cake and here are the ingredients that we need. One egg, eight tablespoons of flour, eight tablespoons of sugar, four tablespoons of cocoa, six tablespoons of milk and six tablespoons of oil. So those are the ingredients and let's get started. Alrighty, our first step is to crack our egg. So let's crack our egg. And we'll pop that into our bowl. Next thing we're going to do is get the milk in. And we'll give that a fast whisk. And then we'll get our sugar. You want to also preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And when I say this is going to be a mini birthday cake, it's a very mini birthday cake. It's small. So there we go. Let's get our oil in. There we go. Incorporate that. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get our flour and cocoa and get those together. And we'll just grab a fork and just mix that around a little bit. There, that's good enough. And let's get that in there. So I'm going to continue mixing this and I'll be back. Alright, that's pretty good. There we go. I also have two teaspoons of baking powder which I'm adding in now. Which I had off the side and I forgot to put that on the table at the beginning. So sorry about that. So that's two teaspoons of baking powder. There we go. I've got these cute little baking tins. Look at that. Aren't those cute? That's what I'm using today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some non-stick spray and I'm just going to spray these over near the sink and I'll be back. Alright. Grab a little bit of flour. And I'm just going to pop the flour in there and give it a shake. All right, that's good. Okay, next. I'm just going to bake these inside the tray just in case there's any overflowing or spillage. So I've got my batter here and I'm going to pour the batter in. I'll continue doing this and I'll be back. Don't be afraid to switch from a whisk to a spatula when you're at home because you want to get everything out. You know when you see the cooks and the chefs on TV doing stuff like this, many times their bowls aren't even empty when they go on to the next you know, step. But since we're at home and we want to get all that goodness out, there we go. Don't want to waste money. Okay. I'm going to wash my hands. So I'm going to pop those into a 350 degree oven and I'll be back. Alright, here are two little cakes. And when I say mini, I'm talking mini. Look at, look at how small these are. Aren't they beautiful? So I bake these for 25 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm only going to be using one today. So I'm going to pop one over to the side. I'm going to grab this, I'm going to open it up and we're going to pop it out. Look at that. Isn't that nice how easy it comes off? And then the little bottom just pops off. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the top. So 
there we go. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to bring it over here. All right, so I've got the cake on a little rack here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the ganache that I have made in another recipe, you can find the recipe for that, and I'm going to pour that over the cake. It's gonna, this is going to be a really simple cake, so I'm going to do that in a second. Alright, I just had to warm up my ganache a little bit. So what I'm going to do here, hopefully I've... Okay, does, how does that look? Pretty good? Okay, so let's go through what I did here. I put down some wax paper on our tray, and I've put the cake on a cooling tray, cooling rack. So now what I'm going to do, and I, what I've done is I've taken the ganache, and I've just heated it very, very slowly in the microwave. This is going to thicken up afterwards. Use your defrost mode on your microwave, or if you have a power setting, use power one and go really, really slowly, melting this up. I've actually, I was actually able to melt this, and the chocolate is not even warm. So if you have that setting on your microwave, use that because you, if you use just a regular setting you can actually burn the chocolate you know if you're microwaving it on high so there we have that so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna gently pour this all over the cake and what's gonna happen is it's gonna go and drip all the way down in spots in some spots it's not gonna drip as much and all the rest of the ganache that falls down, you can let that cool and you can just put it back into your container and use it again. Look at that, does that look amazing or what? And there we go. So now I'm just gonna let this all drip down and let it cool and then we'll be back. I'm sorry I wasn't exactly perfect on camera there. That's a little better. There we go. So I'll be back. I'm going to let this cool. All right, I've just rearranged my lights so we could see a little better. It looked a little dark on the video. And I just want to show you, before I let this cool, how much it has actually gone down the sides. I think there's just a little bit there. Just, there's a little bit there that didn't get touched, but it doesn't matter. Look at that. Look at how nice that looks. If you wanted to and you had some other kind of icing or, or more ganache, you could actually cut the cake open. But the cake is so small, I don't think it really needed it. But there you go, look at that. So I'm going to let that cool and I'll be back. I'll show you the final product later.